Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3, where today we're continuing the Radical Meltdown, a three sheep difficulty world, where we need to take on levels that have custom shapes involved. Now, this one has a spinny thing, and we've got to get this biker through the star in the center of this over to the flag. Now, as there are gaps, I imagine we can probably just go like over to there-ish. So let's just put something like that in and see what happens. Okay, okay, we end up down there. Okay, we end up in the wet. But since this is rotating clockwise and we go through that gap, I imagine we should hopefully be able to get away with if we just do... Oh, can... Oh, these nodes, we cannot go through them. Although, looking at that, can you see it says collides with not only vehicles, but also roads? So if I wanted to prop myself against there, I could just turn that into road. And then suddenly we've got a bit of a, a bit of a wall brace. So if I do my next bit of road over that sort of direction, another one like that. They probably want to like sort of go up a little bit. But look, this should rotate round. Nice. And then, oh, we've jumped over the star. I forgot the star, like, doesn't move. That was silly. Still, a little tweak. And then we go through the star. Oh, I end up down, down there, which is up there at the moment because we're rotating. Oh, I'll tell you what. I feel like I probably need to go, yes, through that star, but then probably back up to, like, there. So if I do a similar thing in that and make this piece road, then I can wedge against the side. Then shove those in. And that might... Oh, that's, that's looking really steep, actually. I mean, as it rotates round... Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Then, potentially, just a little a little bit of road there like that. This could work. The budget was 45 grand. We've done this for 13 grand. Whether this will work... Oh, it was close. It was actually close. Let's just swap that for steel for now. All right, that worked. That worked. We're across 13,659 quid. Where are we ranked? Top 17%. Oh, that's not that's not too good. What did the top people do it for? Two grand. <laughs> what do you mean two grand? What did the bottom people do it for? Oh, there you go. 15 grand. Yeah, I thought so. So I've beaten Tyler, but I'm nowhere near like a good score. What is the best way of doing this? I'm just wondering if I were to delete all of that, is there potential to sort of catch further down? That does actually land in like the right place. Yes, it obliterates everything, but like that's a lot less road. So then I could potentially clean up under here because I wouldn't need that wall brace. I mean, what if I add the world's smallest ramp up here and this road I've dangled from above? So let's try. Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. 12 grand now. I assume the end should still make it, right? Oh, you knob. Right, but I have had a similar idea of rather than doing what I've done over this side, try and do the same. Just add an extra piece there because I... Oh, yeah, look at the price. Look at the price. Question is... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that wasn't great. Maybe I do need one more piece over this side. I mean, if I can get away with just one, that would be ideal. So that has added to the budget. 11 grand. Oh, we made it. We did make it. Okay. Have we moved up a lot? Top 7%. Not bad. Let me just try a couple of things. I'm thinking, can I replace steel with wooden rope? That's roadmap. So the quick answer is no. Can I make it shorter though? Because, oh, look at the price. Yeah, okay, making it shorter is the way to go there. In the middle here, can I make these like way smaller? Just look at the stress. Yes, that one. Oh yeah, way, way down. In fact, do I need like that? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so then do the same here. So just bring that one in, put that one in the middle. Oh no, no. Oh, it stayed on. It stayed doing a wheelie this time. Does that mean I need to make that steeper? Oh, no. Somehow changing the supports has cocked the entire bridge. Yeah, so basically this support, if it's if it's like that, like it works perfectly. Yes. But if I try and move that in a little bit, I guess it makes the bridge slightly less. Oh, it worked that time. Get in. I knew that I'd jinx it if I talked about it. Right, now I do the same for this one. And yeah, if I move that in, that changes the bridge down. Oh, I was going to say downstream so that it doesn't work then it literally didn't work. Okay, well, there is a solution for under 10 grand. I think I'm going to take that. Final position is top 5%. Glad I'm not going for top 1% anymore. Not going to lie. Let's have a look in the gallery at the lowest budget. How did people do this for 2,000 quid? They... Oh, what the... What? <laughs> so this motorcyclist literally got shafted by that. Whoa. Is that how everyone did it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
people have way too much patience. I'm sorry. Hey, look, it pushes them on the swing and then they land on another swing. My head, my head hurts. All right, what's Minecat been up to? He's got dodgy, dangly road. Very, very cheeky. Looks like he did my, my little sort of road node thing at the end. So yeah, this is why I can't get in the top 1% anymore. Just because everyone just does like some sort of dangly thing or some cheesy thing these days. Although this, this, this gallery is always worth a look at by Razdazd. So oh, he also gets shafted as well. But onto, onto quite a few bits of, bits of ramp over that side. Anyway, to the highest budget. What do, <laughs> what do we have there? It's just like loads of fly, well, legless flies just all like hanging underneath. Strange. All right, so this we've got, there's a, oh, there's, oh, it's got, why'd you add veins, man? Oh, RCE. I am the ball bag of society. Right, what's the next one looking like? Oh, this, <laughs> I don't like the movement on these levels. Oh my goodness. Alan. 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 It's not a Catherine wheel, it's a Nobrin wheel. All right, this one. Oh, look, we've got the dangly C. That's. That's way better, Natty Rogers. <laughs> Although now I'm ERC. There's no need. There's no need. <laughs> like, oh, this one, look. They just did like a normal bridge and they're just really patient. I literally didn't even think about doing that. All right, sort of similar on this one, although they landed a load of road on his head. Yes, yeah, cheeky little jump at the end. The bridge just completely gets annihilated. Um, oh, RCE and some nice truss work there. So I assume we go down, wee, up over that side. Decent. Oh, there you go. Similar principle as I did, but oh, a lot smoother because we've got the the arch going up that way. Mine like dangled under that way. Remember? Oh, this is a low stress one. It said so. Seventeen percent stress. That is low. But again, low stress looks like it's just cheesed. Right, what is that in the middle? This is a dangly road, but for forty-four grand. 90 quid under budget. How about people just added like spinny things just because they look. No, I don't I don't like that people did that. That's architecture, Matt. That's architecture. All right, on to the next level. This is called Rally Rollover. Oh no, it's a hydraulic level. It's a hydraulic level. What is going on there? Is that how rally cars are made? They're birthed out in an egg. So they drive. Oh, do I just need to get that across? Oh no, they come back. They're stop signs. Hang on. Hang on. What's going on here? First off, let's build a bridge. Let's just make it work by doing that. And then assuming that's strong enough. Oh my goodness, it's not strong enough. I guess two vehicles in an egg weighs more than I thought it would. But yeah, right. That should be strong enough to get us across. So then they get here. And then what happens? Oh, they just carry on driving. Oh, actually, oh are they? Oh, okay. They're literally tied in. So I can literally just flip this over. Oh, this might be a hydraulic level I can actually do. Okay, so what I'm thinking, we just do triangle like that. Shove a hydraulic there. Make it expand. I'll tell you what, I feel like I may need a hydraulic muscle, but how do I hold that in place? Oh, I can add a joint, can't I? So if I go from there to there and then just joint that, then that should let go when the hydraulic phase goes. So my plan is these drive over, stop at that point, that flips it up. Yeah, it doesn't go, doesn't go high enough. In fact, do I need hydraulics? What does that cost? Like four grand. I'm just wondering, could I just, could I not just make a smooth ramp like that? Like, will they drive up there? Oh, <laughs> they drove straight through it. If it was steel, no, they, it's not smooth enough. It is not smooth enough. Bring it back this way. I'm just thinking they could, they're not going to drive up, are they? But yeah, if they drive up, yes. Oh, not quite. I just need it to drive up, then roll backwards. Ready, ready, ready. Oh, no. Who designed this? Why is it not smooth enough? I'll tell you what, though. Similar concept. But if I just had, like, one bit of road and then hydraulic that, and hopefully it will start driving up. And the Oh, no. The hydraulic goes first. I want the hydraulic to go afterwards. Well, actually, actually, just move this to, like, there. It depends where the egg stops. Like, where the weight is. Nah, too far forward. About something like that. Yes. No. Although now it's trying to drive up. Is it gonna? Is it gonna? No, it didn't. All right. Gave it a little bit of a tweak. So that road is flat. And we got that. It tries to drive up. Yes. 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 Oh, we've made it. He's only gone and done it. He's done a hydraulic level. I was going to say first time. Let's just say I've done a hydraulic level. Top 38%. That's terrible. I imagine even Tyler beat me this time. Yeah, he did. Well, a couple of things. One, let's watch this with the stress and see whether this actually needs to be steel. I don't think it does. 
I reckon we can probably get away with just being a bit more sensible. So this is a two grid tension solution. You can see I do actually, I did need some cable in there. It was pretty tough going. Haven't messed with this yet, but I imagine I can swap those with wood maybe. Oh, they're not quite long enough. Question, if I make that shorter, will wood ever fit? No, not really. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I could probably just probably just rope it right so done a lot of rope this level but let's see how it works does it still flip round i imagine there might be a bit more movement with rope no we're good we're good but is there a could donk no we're fine okay we've done it under 14 grand which means of course we beat tyler but where are we ranked top 15 Dean, it's not great, but I think it's good enough. Let's have a look at the lowest budget and see how people cheese this. Oh, banana bridges. Okay, banana bridge to get across. That's fine. How did they... Wait, what? That's just a ramp. How did they get that to work? Fair play. That was eight grand. There's me accusing everyone of cheating and people have literally just done like intelligent engineering. The community always surprises me. Always. Except for when we head to the highest budget because we can always guarantee... Okay, that is actually quite surprising. What is going on here? Oh my... It carries them back across. It carries them back across. <laughs> Why build a bridge when you can build a crane? But what I was going to say, there's always going to be RCE propaganda because the community is awesome. Oh, look, it dropped off forwards. Okay, I'm surprised by all of these, except for maybe the RCE propaganda. Everyone dropped off. I didn't even think about that. And except for Alan's contributions to... <laughs> right, let's move on from him. Damn, Alan. Oh, the other the other surprise, though. There is still no Nifty sponsored solution. Oh, look, Wales. I live in Wales. I'm not Welsh, though. I just want to put that out there. I'm not Welsh, but I do live in Wales. Now, what did Rye the Pie actually get up to on this solution? Oh, it lifted it up and flipped it over. Nice. Oh, I thought that's... Oh, my God. I thought that was a death threat there. I thought that said rip RCE. I was like, excuse me? But no, it says hi RCE. That's much nicer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like... For a split second, saw like November rain. I saw like Slash playing guitar on like a, a tombstone. By the way, got to be careful not to mention anything Guns N' Roses. They'll try and copyright me again after that bridge parody I did. All right, this one, we <laughs> we've got one of those. Oh, it's another drop down one. RCE fits perfectly in there though. If you didn't do that, are you really an engineer? Uh, this one, we've got, oh look, we got like three three rockets with like the flames coming out the bottom of them. Although technically the top because they're shooting downwards. But that's an interesting addition. I assume that's, is that to like put more force on the bridge? Because you use steel the whole way across. So I imagine if you have rockets pulling down on it, I'll put more stress on these members, which makes them more efficient. Good job. Like, oh, look at this. Look at this. A nice little suspended bridge there. How is this one going to flip? Oh, he's got a little a little ramp at the very end. Probably should have persisted longer with the ramp. I don't know why I went to hydraulics. Like most hydraulic levels, I actively try and avoid hydraulics. I think this one, because I like sort of understood how to hydraulic it. I thought it was a good idea. All right, this one, we got a Mushroom Kingdom building. And okay, that's how it tips over. This. Oh, is this going to be like a massive cat flap so it falls onto that as it comes back it lifts the road up <laughs> that's cool i like that yeah right the next level seesaw we got hundred and eleven thousand pounds to spend and oh it is it is a seesaw oh it's got a moving part as well okay this could be tricky because look there is a star up there that i've got to get to so i can't simply yeah, I can't just drive along this. We're going to need a bridge sort of in the air. So when we get to the end, that's sort of at its lowest point. The height of the road is probably like there somewhere. So if I press... Oh, wow. What? If I press play, it gets disintegrated. Why? I just want to see if my road was tall enough. Okay, so it does actually look like a good height. I probably need to like bring it down and then add another bit over that side. And yeah, the question is, why is why is that bit breaking? All right, okay, there we go. That's better oh that does get annihilated bring that down and over a bit so okay that is on that is on so now i just need i was gonna say i just need a road over to there is it worth dropping it down oh. <laughs> no i think the vibrations sort of destroyed everything like as it falls down boosh yeah the vibrations they ruin everything i don't have springs to work with so i think we just need to well, we just need to do a road down as quickly as possible and then sort of stay down there-ish so question will this hold it oh it's picking up speed no it's good it is actually good because then i'm wondering 
Do I need to go back up again? Because we start way lower. So actually, if I can make this land like on its wheels, but still get the start, that's the main thing. Right, get the start, land on your wheels. Okay, it could tip back. Yes. And then what do we need over here to make it make the jump? I reckon I could like, if I tension over to there, then suddenly I have a node here that I can can do like a ramp up like that sort of thing maybe so let's see if this works so land on there grind along your face then get tilted back and then can you make the jump yes yeah oh no the rope broke oh no swap it with cable yes no all right i've swapped them both for cable i'm just hoping it will be... No, oh, no. No, I need a better solution. I need a better solution. I mean, to be fair, maybe I don't want to do anything there. I just want to tweak this so we do actually land on our wheels, not on our face. Okay, that's good. We still get the start. We land on our wheels. And then look, as we do the jump, we're almost up the very top. So I can probably get away with... Oh, I was going to say doing something like that. But there's there's not actually any nodes over here. So again, if I want to support this, I need to do like something like that, which seems excessive. I wonder if this will actually work. Oh, not in the slightest. All right, I've just swapped some stuff with cable because the rope kept breaking. So we now... We now stay stuck there. As this comes down, we get stuck there. But I think a little tap up the butt. We've made it. We've made it. And I'm in the top 20% with that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, why did Tyler pick this? I was going to say, why did he pick this one to uh, to get a really low price? On? But look at that star there. Asterix, solution has breaks. Tyler is a dirty cheater. And I'm avoiding that. Actually, if I do lowest budget, I'm breaking. There you go. He only did it for 54 grand. Dirty cheat. Um, so to get 54 grand, I can probably, if I remove that bit, probably watch this with stress on as well. I mean, I really actually cannot be bothered to uh, make this one cheap. But basically, it's just trying to build this in wood rather than steel. But yeah, added a little bit of wood in there. Replace the steel. The end still works the same way. It just made it a little bit cheaper. 52 grand. We beat Tyler. Top 12%. Not terrible, actually. Now, the cheapest people did this for was nine grand, though. Is that going to be in the gallery at the lowest budget? Yes, it is. Good job. Okay, so this is what... Oh, my... <laughs> wow. So, yeah, they really made use. Oh, wow. Wait, how do they get the star? So the stars there, they, oh, they like forward rolled through the star. And like the momentum meant they didn't need any jump at that end or anything. That's actually really clever. The downside is everyone's copied the design. Like all of these are basically the same design. They've just got cheaper and cheaper. This is why getting top whatever percent is very hard. Let's see what Razdaz did though, because at least they included the, the RCE propaganda. Yeah, they did the same thing. But yeah, I can scroll for ages and ages. Everyone's just done the same design. So we'll go to the highest budget instead. Oh, look at this one. Hang on, pause, pause, pause. We got RCE, 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 RCE. Engineers, Rock, Matt and Paddy, YouTube. Oh, and another RCE down there. This is the type of propaganda that the, the Polybridge Gallery was made for. <laughs> Oh, look at the look at the triple cable muscle. I've heard about them before, but I've never seen them in the wild. Incredible. Anyway, RCE Nifty. Yeah, the viewers are calling for Nifty. Will Nifty return? This has more drama than the Timberborners. Honestly, I don't know what's happened to Nifty. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I wish it was Alan that went missing. Not gonna lie. Anyway, let's. <laughs> I mean, this guy's called Snake Lover. You'd understand if you'd have loads of snakes on your replays. If you're called Snake Lover. If you're just called Alan though. What is the obsession with snakes? All right, honestly, a lot of these basically just look like my design. I did end my road early. But I think most people playing this level, they were just a little bit lazy in terms of... Oh, well, maybe not this person. They use wood. But yeah, like myself, I think people just like... I cannot be bothered just to turn this down into uh, into wood. I think it's the movement. Like that could dunk at the start, that broke a piece. Put me off. Put me off trying to make it cheap. Like, what is that? Oh my God, it's doing a face plant all the way down. What? <laughs> It grind its face all the way down. Fair play. All right, so the next level is called Controlled Demolition. So what is that? We've got a bulldozer. We've just got to get it across. So, oh, it's a Jenga tower. Okay, I actually quite like that. Um, Right, what have I got to do then? I need... Does this collide with road? Oh, it collides with road. So I can't really just build a bridge underneath because this will just slam on top of it. Oh, man, how am I going to do this? Right, 
I feel like there's two ways of doing this. One, we try and support the Jenga blocks. Two, we just try and build over them. So <laughs> if we go up to there, can we make a strong enough bridge? So if we go like that sort of thing and then support it from like down here. All right, how's that going to work? Is it going to be too steep? No, it's good. It's good. Okay, so we may get on top of the Jenga tower. Oh boy, maybe not. No, the Jengas. All right, so you broke. I think we just need... I mean, to be fair, I probably need to support more like that. So our weight is being supported like from the top. Does that look better? I think that looks better. Okay, what's going to happen up here though? Oh no. Well, that didn't work as planned. Uh, what if I shorten my bridge so I sort of land on that corner? I just want to topple these over and see like where where I end up. So, oh, we've pushed one off. Oh dear. Oh boy. All right, there may be a place where this does actually work. There, there also may not be though. So whilst I tweak, I think it's engineering time. Oh. I can build clearly now. The architect's gone. There are no more obstacles in my way. Gone are the polo shirts and coffee breath. This is gonna be a build. Build feet bridge. It's gonna be a build. Build build feet bridge. Okay, right. This is what I came up with in the end. I tried to go over the top. I tried for quite a long time actually. Could not get it to work. So instead, two bridges. We did the under supports. I did road and steel. And then you can see I've supported the Jenga block in the middle, which means we only take a few blocks over which means there isn't as much stress on the right bridge we're in the top two percent with that that ain't bad someone did it for 10 grand though uh, i'm 98th in the world i will definitely take that smashed tyler by 10 grand don't even know why i bother looking at these anymore and let's see is the lowest budget solution in the gallery no it isn't but we have an 11 grand one. Oh, and shock it's dodgy cheese with <laughs> <laughs> Although I quite like, because there's so many gaps, the Jenga blocks just fell through on the right. That's quite cool, to be fair. Yeah, unfortunately, it does mean most people did the same. Oh, look, that's what I was doing. A mere engineer. Us engineers, we think the same. How did you get yours to... <laughs> What's it doing? How did you get yours to... Oh, do that. I think it was just luck. I don't know if I could have done that. I tried for like ages, but 12 grand that cost. I don't know how much mine was when I was doing it. Oh, look, looks like a few people did it that way. Was it just like mad patience? Their ramp was a lot lower than mine, I've just noticed. Forward roll for style points, by the way. Oh, man, like everyone went above. Fair enough. Oh, this one's like mine. Oh, this was very much like mine. Although they got away with road on, on both sides. So it is a lot cheaper. All the designs are the same. Like, what's going on? Like, even mine were the same. Look, Razdaz one. He, he went up. He had the bit of steel down that side that I had as well because I was struggling. But yeah, so many people did very similar designs to me. Anyway, highest budget. What have we got? Why does this... Whoa. Wow. Just wow. So there's my rocket from KSP that you might remember. But look at the propaganda in the background. That's like if I if I was in the Matrix, that's what I'd see. Just RCEs everywhere. Uh, this next one. Oh my goodness. What is going... They lifted the Jenga block up out the way. Does that say efficient up there as well? That is insane efficient. Is that like a... Is that a shark? Or like a jet from the side? Not gonna lie. Glad it's not a knob. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fair play. That's one of the one of the craziest things I've seen. Actually, how did you get how did you get hydraulics in there? Anyway, this one by Yunru. Haven't seen Yunru in the replays for a while. We got double RC propaganda. We've got how does that stay? Oh, the bridge holds it up in place. Build it as part of the bridge. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh yeah, I, I can see what that is now. <laughs> How did I not see that? He's put a hard hat on the Jenga top. That's definitely what he's done. It's not anything else. We've got Alan being typical Alan as well. <laughs> the wiggle. We've got this one. Just avoid the Jenga completely. Like, just leave it there. Why do we have to destroy? Stop being so destructive. Be more like M Lawless 25. Be constructive with your solutions. Right, this, hang on. Let's pause this. Let's pause this. What does this say? Nifty level. Big brain ramp. Okay, okay. They got me interested with the Nifty. I'm not going to lie. So I'll I'll pay attention to you. That's so what we got here. Big brain ramp. So, okay, that's the ramp. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You didn't need the wiggle. So the ramp goes up. Oh, is that to push the Jenga pieces so you can get to the flag? I'm not sure if Nifty would have done that. I feel like he would have... I'm saying he. Could be she. Nifty, she could have... They. Nifty, 
They could have they could have done anything and I would have been impressed. Let's just put it that way. But Nifty isn't here anymore. Nifty has moved on to greater things, perhaps brewing their own tea. I don't know. Oh, did you see that one? We'll watch this again. So basically, this one just just barrage the bricks out the way and then the bricks on top because they're supported either side they just slot down it's like a like an ammunition chamber now we've got another bridge that goes over the top this time in an arch and because it's got an arch it's got rc propaganda because that's what i love right what have we got here? what have we got here r c e but i'm more intrigued as to what's going on up here so we've got two little mechanisms oh is this going to make it fall down note They've added like road into the Jenga pieces so that it does all fall over. Oh, that's cool. It's a shame it broke. I will say that. Hi, RCE. Hi, JD Space Flight. Oh, I think your spaceships crashed there. Or were they satellites? Not sure. All right, why is this one? Oh, that's why it's so expensive. That was nice font. You did like some good word art on your on your text there. Appreciate that. All right, this one, we've got bubble bub text. I used to do that like in school, primary school. We've also got a face down there with no mouth. Interesting. All right, then this one, which is, oh, oh, there's a bit of road. Oh, I just mullered the tower. What did I just say about being constructive, not destructive? Anyway, not sure why you destroyed the tower, but then still drove over the top architect move i'm gonna say but anyway guys we are now one level away from completing this world completely under budget without breaking as well yeah then we need to decide do we go on to the arctic tundra which is generic levels oh god or the four star hydraulic levels i think we both know which i'm gonna pick first so for now i'll say peace love and bridges bye guys